Before all that, we're excited because one of our favorites, yes. you and I, our very favorites. Our first guest won two Best Actress Emmys for her role as Nurse Colleen McMurphy on the hit series China Beach. And now she stars opposite Doris Roberts in A Time to Remember, a Hallmark Channel movie about a woman whose mother is showing early signs of Alzheimer's disease and the toll that it's taking on their family. A wonderful actress. Please welcome the beautiful and talented Dana Delaney. Tiny, here, huh? tiny thing. Uh, you really are. You're much more Yeah, petite. I think the camera just makes you huge. Yeah. Yeah. See, you're not a camera. Yeah. Uh, it's so not nice. She's tiny, too. I know, but I'm not, so, but you two are, so that's fine. We can talk about that. So nice to have you with us. I, I got to tell you, I, I've been a huge fan for a long time, and I was one of those great devotees of China Beach. I mean, I thought it was just one of the best series ever on TV. Did you? Know Getting into it, I'm always curious to ask actors and actresses, did, did you know it would be that successful no, and have that no, impact on people? It was a shock. I thought people didn't want to know about Vietnam. It was done. It was over. And, but, you know, the story of the nurses had never been told, so it was the female perspective. Yeah. It was, it was just a, a and, and some great people. We have a cast. You can see the cast. Right? Oh, Mark, Mark and Brian. See Brian Weber yeah. and Dana Delaney. Some, <laughs> a lot of talent on look that Look how set. young we all look. <laughs> <laughs> well, it was the 60s. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Now, you, you, as with so many wonderful actors and actresses, actually got started on a soap, right? Yes, I did. Which, which mm -hmm. one? Two right here at CBS. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one was Love of Life, which had been on the air for 35 years. I got cast, and it was off the air in nine months. <laughs> <laughs> but they don't, don't think, blame you. Oh, no, not at all. No. And then as the role turns, sure. she's still on. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I think we actually have a clip of Dana on uh, as the world yeah. <laughs> Oh, from 1990. What do you say? <laughs> Nothing would make me happier than to be your wife. <laughs> oh, that's a yes, you said yes! <laughs> Don't be so shocked, what did you think I was gonna say? Oh! oh my God. Wow! I, I'm sorry, it was, it was actually hard for me to watch the performance because the hair, the, the Martha hair. Quinn, Dorothy Hamill do you got going there. I did that on purpose because, on I don't, purpose. well, I don't know if you remember, but back then in the subs, everybody had huge hair. You were in rollers for hours, and, I, and they teased it. It was like up to here, and I said, there's no way you're doing that to me, and I just cut it all off. Good for you. And that was it, yeah. Do you like watching yourself? I mean, do you, no, do you watch your, f your films and your TV series and things like that? Are you comfortable? Uh, no, I will watch something once and then wait 10 years. Uh, and I usually hate it. And then 10 years later, I go, oh, that was all right. That wasn't so bad. Well, you know, a few years ago, Dana did a movie um, called East of Eden. Exit to Eden. Exit to Eden. I wish I was in East That's of Eden. A... <laughs> Exit to Eden, where she played a dominatrix and she wore leather, mm -hmm. um, as did Rosie O'Donnell. Oh, um, there she is. Mm -hmm. How uh, how was it to watch that? You know that movie got so much crap, but I have to say it wasn't that bad. So I actually like my performance in that movie. And did you like your uh, wardrobe? Well, I, I think, still have that wardrobe. I can, tell you, <laughs> I can bet that a I lot of a lot of your male fans liked that performance well, and especially that outfit. I have to tell you something funny. Um, here in New York, two nights ago, I was visiting a friend in a loft in Tribeca. And he rented out half of his loft to dominatrixes. Is that? And we, he said, would you like to come over and see the dungeon? And I was like, oh, God, I've done this already. <laughs> so I went over and met these women. And I saw this look in their eyes like recognition. <laughs> and I said, nice to meet you. And I would left. And it turns out they all were just craze that I was there and they she's, said, she's one of us they said, yeah. they said oh, you don't understand there's never been a comedy about S&M before she's our hero I was, gonna, <laughs> I was gonna say if one of them didn't recognize you the other two were probably like you mean Dana Delaney <laughs> should you know who that is <laughs> oh, yeah, well, only in New York did you have that experience yes, right. and it <laughs> seems natural in New York yes. it doesn't oh, seem right. unusual yeah. to anybody yeah. hi how are you nice outfit only in New yeah. York yes <laughs> so um, anybody ever ask you to pose nude I mean after that I would think that Playboy would be knocking at you yeah, yeah, I got that offer, but I declined. No. Really? 
Well, no, I mean, that's that was a role. That's acting. When it's you naked, that's you naked. And, and you know, that's yeah. different. <laughs> Even if they just airbrush the heck out of it? Yeah. Well, also, I mean, I grew up with Playboy in the 60s where it was real. Now it's just so fake. And, yeah. Yeah. Just and that's just me. the way they like it, isn't it? Why are you it? looking at me? <laughs> what is this with me? I, 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 I have nothing to do with that. I'm just a big Dana Delaney fan. That, that's well, all. I bet your fans are disappointed you didn't pose. I mean, the uh, China Beach nurse naked is... No, you know, it's a funny thing, because people have an ideal about you, especially in China Beach, that, you know, the angel of angel mercy kind of thing, and they really... I think that was the problem with Exit to Eden. They didn't want to see me be that I, other I character. That's a hard that's thing to break out of, especially a, a role like that where you were, I mean, you were the, going back to your soap days, you were the guiding light there. I yeah. Mean, you really were the angel and you even yeah. looked that way in the outfit sometime. Yeah. And I imagine it's tough for people to see you break out of that. No, they want you to be a certain thing. I mean, the other day I was at a dry cleaners and this woman said, you look familiar. And I said, oh, well, I was on this TV show, China Beach. She goes, no, no. And she went, oh, Haley, From it had been 20 years. Wow. She said, Haley, you were so soft, so soft. <laughs> well, at least it was another dominatrix. No, I mean, yeah, probably that's probably anyway, good. Anyway, we're a quick break. When we come back, we're going to talk about the new movie. We said it's time to remember. A very moving, uh, some important messages, uh, and a lot of fun to talk to Dana Delaney. We'll be right back. Stay with us. Up next, more with Dana Delaney. And coming up, our not-to-be-missed Hidden Talent Face-Off. Welcome back. We're talking with Dana Delaney about a lot of things. We mentioned in the beginning the, the movie that you're doing, A Time to Remember. Um, and tell us about the movie and why you wanted to get involved in it. Well, it's it's a, a very complex mother-daughter relationship, which I find endlessly fascinating. <laughs> I'm constantly exploring that. <laughs> and, uh, you know, they've had a tough relationship, and then it turns out that Doris, who plays my mother, Doris Roberts, is starting to get early Alzheimer's. And it's basically, I think it's more about family and coming to terms with things before it's too late. Yeah. We have a clip here we want yeah. to take a look at. Now, this is when Doris is starting to slightly lose yes, her Yes, and I've way. come home for Thanksgiving. Okay. Just spit. Let me try it, okay? You're all in so much of a rush. Why don't you just leave it to me? The devil is this place. It's always right here on 3rd. We're not even on 3rd. There's back there. It's way back there. I've been there a hundred times. You don't think I know my own town? We can do this another day. No, we're going to do it today, Britt. <laughs> now you have a special connection to Alzheimer's. Yeah, uh, Your grandmother my had grandmother it. had Alzheimer's, and for quite a while, I think 10 years, and she was had to be put in a, in a home um, and, you know, really became a four-year-old in the end. But what, what I remember about it is my grandfather would drive every day to see her, bring her lunch, a milkshake with an egg in it and vitamins, because he felt like, you know, they weren't taking good care of her That's there, so and sweet. just sat with her. Yeah. yeah. And, and did it, you see her a lot during that time? I mean, yeah, you? we used to go visit her, and, you know, I... I think it's the first time I ever saw my father cry was because he was on the phone with her and she didn't know who he was and yeah. he was on the phone saying, Mom, it's me, it's Jack, it's me and yeah. just the tears were rolling down yeah. his face. It's always so hard for the family. I've told the story, my, my mother-in-law passed away from Alzheimer's and for a while she was mistaking our youngest daughter for my wife. Yeah. She was going back that far in her past, and then after that she moved to that stage where, where nobody was recognizable. But for us, it was fortunate that she was, she became very childlike. Mm -hmm. You know, so they say there's some times where people become angry, yeah. and she would just kind of sit quietly and nod, and you knew that she didn't realize what was happening, but yeah. it was so hard, as you said, on your dad and the close... It's hard on the caregivers, the yeah. family. It's really a... It's a Do, are you worried thing. about, um, I mean, they don't know that much uh, about how Alzheimer's works. Does it skip a generation? Does it... Um, you know, in, in which way it comes down. Are you concerned that... Yeah. Um, my The sick joke in my family is that my aunt smoked herself to death so she wouldn't get Alzheimer's. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, yeah. like, choose the way you want to go. Yeah. Uh, and you have to use humor. Yeah, yeah it's a lot of stuff. black humor involved yeah, in it. Yeah, yeah. Exactly. I heard this weird thing the other day that it's 
it's not hereditary, but it's genetic, which I don't quite know what that means. Yeah. I don't know what that means I, I mean, either. It's all, in the DNA. Wrestling, yeah, it's in the DNA, and they're all wrestling now to determine you know, where it goes. And, and, but they're making progress. Good news is making progress in research. Well, and also because so many baby boomers are dealing with their parents' sure. aging, yeah. Yeah. they want the cure. So yeah. hopefully it'll motivate people. So a lot of messages coming out of this, yeah. this movie, very good. One of the messages is, you know, I contribute for the research. The Alzheimer's Association is doing good work. And all of us are, you know, will benefit it from it at some point. Yeah. Dana Delaney, remember, in the meantime, this Sunday night at eight so o'clock nice. yeah, uh, on the Hallmark Channel. Dana Delaney, thank you so much. Thank Always you. Good. Up next, the first contestants in our hidden talent face-off, and coming up, the results of our rock star hair makeovers.